Hello everybody, it's SOD Matt Haven here, and today we're going to be, well, not reviewing because of True Vision. Um, I'm going to be taking my time to get a couple more reviews out after True Vision is over, but until then, I will throw out some nice matches that are going on during True Vision. Light tanks right now are really fun to play, so if you haven't played a light tank yet, I recommend to get one in and head out. So far, going over a couple of the light tanks, uh, one of the ones that did not receive... A camouflage buff, just a heads up if you feel like trying to pull this one out, is the LT-432. So, if we jump over to the Vanguard, which is going to be the replay today, you have a .78 stationary and moving camouflage rating. If we go over to the LT-432, you have a .33, which means this tank did not receive any sort of buff whatsoever. It has its standard 0.33 camouflage rating. And, yeah, that's it. So, let's go ahead and jump right into the replay. Now, today, I'll try to get some more gameplay out. Um, not any uh, uploads, just going to be going for a few hours, playing some matches, maybe some 8s, 9s, and 10s. Who knows, might jump into Tier 5, so if you see me, shoot me a message and just say hi. Or, shoot me a message and I'll try and team up with you. Either or. Um, if you leave a comment and you want to be able to come team up with us for today, then I will try my best to get you inside of a platoon if we don't already have a full platoon. So, keep in mind it is October 19th. And, uh, hope you guys are enjoying your time for the spooky 31 Days of Horror. Right now up on, uh, Creepypasta. There's a lot of podcasts out there that are doing a lot of really cool things right now. So the No Sleep podcast, for instance, um, I believe during this time they are doing an episode every single day. I might be wrong. I haven't been keeping track of them, but I do know that Creepy on Spotify is. So if you want to get your Halloween exciting, go listen to some creepy pasta, Or watch me play tanks. Either or. <laughs> Alrighty, so as normal, proper Avka. I like my bushes. Now, the Vanguard's a really small tank during True Vision. Not just that. The camouflage in this tank, I noticed it's even smaller than the LT-100. So, I decided to just have some fun inside the Vanguard. And literally, just things so tiny. And with True Sight on and the camouflage buff that it got, holy. Like, I, I just don't even know what to say right now. The, the Vanguard is... A ghost on the battlefield. You could probably do a, a 1v15 if you do it right. But then again the chances of that happening are slim to none. Well, not none. Just really, really slim. So. True Sight, you know. I, I've been enjoying it a tad bit. It's not too bad, actually. I find that, yes, there are tanks that are getting advantages, and there are tanks that are at disadvantages. For instance, the poor Roger Dodgers on the enemy team. They are neon blue. Just big, bright, and metallic. They stand out like no other. They also have lights on them that, well, they give off like a fluorescent glow. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty bright. Still a good tank, though. I enjoy my Roger Dodger, E75 TS, and the TS5. So, not even three minutes into the match yet, and we're already sitting at 3,700 spot assist. Not even moving, just kicking back, laughing. I I was talking to Blade during this match, and he, he, he didn't exactly have the greatest match. He kept on bouncing, but I, I told him it's because of the range that you're at. You need to get a little bit closer. And uh, the, <laughs> right on cue, look at the map. He's already pushing up to try and get closer to get shots off. And, well, he got a little bit too close. So, if you're watching this blade, just know. Uh, usually what I say works, but sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh you know, this this week in tanks, I've I've been getting a lot more involved with, into it. Normally, I'm I'm not trying as hard, and 
you know, I get on just to play with a couple of buddies, but as soon as I started recording and trying to stream, my, my gameplay has shot through the roof. So, if you know about the WOT Info, um, it is a website that you can go to to check your overall statistics for weekly and monthly. And at the time that we were playing this match, um, after this match, I got told just to look it up and see where I was at. And within the past week, I had like a 90% win rate out of like 60 matches. And I, I don't even know how we did that, so... That, that was just bonkers. Well, getting into it, we just barely passed 4 minutes and 15 seconds, and we're already up to 49.95. Honestly, light tanks right now, I I gotta say, dude, get out there. Uh, go be a ghost. If you got a Vanguard or ELC, uh, a Hawk, or the most recent Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch has got a pretty good camo rating as well. It's... It's it's really fun right now with light tanks. Heavy tanks especially just because, you know, you, you got the big fat gun and just taking shots across the map. Th this event, I'm honestly having fun with it. I don't take it too serious just because it's it's one of those events that I, I hope they don't want to implement this into the game permanently because if they do, I, I, yeah, I'll probably go to PC permanently. But... Other than that, as like something that pops up occasionally, it it honestly decreases the competitiveness of the game overall. To where it, it's not as competitive compared to most. So whenever True Sight hits, sure, it's still World of Tanks. It's still competitive. You still have stats. There are still systems in play that you know people are trying to take full advantage of, but just starting off, this is just a time to screw around, you know, get off some steam, especially with the plus one, minus one, playing tier eights right now, or playing tier sevens or sixes, you're, you're in matchmaking, that's fun, okay, you're, you're not seeing tier eights inside a six, you're not seeing nines in a seven, so, get out there, enjoy the last two days, or the last day of plus one, minus one, and true vision. I got no other thing to say, except for, hey, look, bush, you can't see me. Oh, auto-detect range. <laughs> and going nuts. Third shell, he's, yep, down the 50 hit points, and immediately after, he gets hit. So, already up to 5,100 for spot assist, and almost 700 damage in total. I think that after True Vision is done and over, I'm going to be doing a couple of private matches, and I would like some volunteers to come team up to assist with spotting mechanics and going over spotting mechanics with me and camouflage mechanics. That way I can, you know, give my input on how all of it works to help out with anyone who needs it really. And I I might kick back and actually write something out for a planned script. That way I don't miss anything. I, I want to be able to go over that and make sure you guys are just as informed as I am. Because camouflage inside this game, it, it is a huge advantage. I, I think that during True Sight, people, they're understanding that bushes, the effects that bushes have, it's kind of a way to get people's awareness up for the mechanics. Because primarily, you don't see a lot of people using the spotting or the camouflage, primarily the camouflage mechanics. You'll see people using spotting mechanics, but usually you don't think a whole lot about the camouflage aspect of the game. Because even a heavy tank can be just as hard to spot as a light tank in very specific positions. And right here, you know, just using the bushes, he, for some reason, he didn't see us drive out in front. And now that we're spotted, he, he's now going to be looking around. <laughs> Vanguards, they are so tiny, so hard to hit. It's all about your driving. Their traverse speed is a little stiff. It doesn't like to turn too well at top speed. 
But then again, this thing is super small and crazy camouflage at 0.39 base rather than the 0.78 it's been buffed up to. So, I'm still looking for more tanks to go over as well for reviews once True Vision is done and over. So far, we have the Mouse, the E100, the Rover, which is the T37. I probably completely bombed that. I'm going to have to take a look real quick. It is an American Tier 6 light tank. Um, he wanted to see the Rover, but I don't have the Rover, so we were going to go over the regular version, the T37 with the final package. And the Mouse and E100, they, they have been spotlight tanks in the game since basically the first year after it was released on PC. So, those tanks, it's like, I, I don't know why you guys want to see the Mouse and the E100, because other people have got them. I mean, I, I can try to see what I can do, and, you know, probably try and get a nice match, but the E100, I don't want to touch the E100 until they buff the turret armor like they said they were going to. So, that that's one of those ones that it, it's going to be uh, a hit or miss, depending on what happens. So, I'll try. I'll see what I can do to get it out there. So, Vanguard, this, this tank is just beyond competitive it, it, it is broken competitive <laughs> so yeah this isn't a review about the vanguard not yet that that was just a match so true sight so far you know i'm, I'm not taking it serious anymore it's to me it, it's kind of just a fun little way to de-stress for everything that goes on for regular matchmaking so like the second you hit a tier 8 and all you see is 10s I think that True Sight plus the one minus one was a great way to get off a lot of stress. And I hope that the community here, you know, realizes that. And hope, like, I, I just, I, I'm kicking back and just waiting. There, there's a couple of things I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for them to apply the, the buffs to the E100, to the IS-4, the Object 260, um... I, I want to see statistics that are more matched to PC than what they actually are on console. So, like, the reload difference between console and PC. There, there's a lot of Tier 8s that we have 10-second reloads here on console, and if you watch some of the gameplay on PC, they're, they're sitting at, like, 7.3, 7.8. A couple of them at, like, 6.9. So, console, we, we get a lot of stuff into the game debuffed pre-debuffed but you know what it's still a good game you know and sure the matches take a little bit longer but hey it's just as competitive if not a little bit more if you're trying to get good stats the ranked gameplay i would like to see the ranked gameplay get bumped up from a 6 versus 6 to a 15 versus 15 as a entirely different selection in the game mode menu Rather than just weekly events that go on, or every single two weeks that they do it, I believe it's every single weekend. So the tier 9 that's going on, or is just barely ending, I, I would like to see it as a 15 versus 15. Because 6 on 6, it's really hard to estimate the skill level, or honestly, rankings in general with 6 versus 6. It, it's really hard to do because... You're limited on the tanks that you can pull out. If you pull out a tank destroyer, six on six, if you get caught out in the open by yourself, you're in trouble. If you're in a light tank, you're already going in as a disadvantage. Um, uh, ranked gameplay, you see a lot of mediums, a lot of tank destroyers, and a lot of heavies. Those are what dominate ranked gameplay, especially heavies. So, yeah, you know... Ranked gameplay, there's a little bit to be worked on there, but it'd be nice to see 15 versus 15 rather than just 6 versus 6. And if it was 15 versus 15, I would participate a lot more in ranked gameplay. I would have a lot more fun. You know, no platoons, pure rank, pure skill, strategy maps, 
and you know 200 IQ plays. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to, if you want to see a tank and you want me to do a review on a tank, put it down in the comments. I will try my best as soon as True Vision is over to get it out for you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.